Good morning, my name is Elise and I'm totally obsessed with my luxury garden. I hope you'll join me in gardening and watching a little bit of golf with me. In the video this morning, I'm going to show you how I prune my annual flowers. I have a bed of flowers at the front of my property, just at the sidewalk. It smells amazing, it's full of alyssum, lilac, salvia plants, and dianthus. And you might think that with annual flowering plants that you don't need to prune them, but it does make a big difference on keeping them look fresh and alive until the very end of the season. So I'll show you that my alyssums are looking gorgeous and full and they form a nice row along the edge of the flower bed. Although they look really nice right now, I am doing some proactive work to ensure that their lifespan goes all the way to the end of the season and they don't start looking tired or flopping in another month or so because we're already nearing um, the midway point of summer. So I'm going to prune them into more of a hedge shape so that they look a little bit more rectangular bordering, bordering the flower garden. And then I'm also going to trim my uh, salvia plants. The plant in particular that I have is um, Violet Profusion. I actually bought three Violet Profusion and turns out one was not Violet Profusion even though it was labeled that in the store and at the time the three looked the same. I planted them in a group of three, as you'll see. But once they started blooming, one of them is not a violet profusion salvia plant. Um, it still looks nice, but I might swap it out for uh, another violet profusion maybe next summer. For now, I'm just gonna leave it because it does look nice. The other plants in the flower garden there are uh, fruit punch sweetie pie dianthus. I chose that one because it's a nice pink color and I refer to my daughter as sweetie so I thought that was fitting. I'm going to prune these so that they can just keep blooming and look tidier. Give you a close-up view of what I do to prune them so that you can do the same with yours and hopefully it helps your flowers bloom and keep going through the summer just like mine. Near the end of the video, I'll also show you a little bit of golf because our property is overlooking Toviano Golf Course, which is ranked number eight in the entire world. So it's very gorgeous and I'll just show you what's going on on the course this morning. As you can see, these look way better now, much tidier. All the brown is gone. So these ones here, 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 
And here I got all of those from Art Nap. Any of these spikes that had already spent, all of these blooms are done. These are all getting cut off. There. This one here? Well, I didn't do this one. Thank you. Can you do this one? Yeah, but I do this one. Okay. Then I can do this. Don't need help. Okay. There we go. Thank you. These are looking much better. Pruned uh, off all of the spent flowers. That will help them become more of a mounding form. And just looks tidier. So I've pruned the Dianthus and the Salvia and I'm going to chop off this Moonbeam Coreopsis, this pale yellow flower. It's very beautiful but it's a bit leggy right now so that will help it start mounding. Okay, I have trimmed the Moonbeam Coreopsis, and now last thing is going to be this huge mound of Alyssums. It's very beautiful, but it's just looking a little bit messy for my taste. You can see the edge is messy with the grass, and I'm going in here and chopping it to make a nice clean edge. can see here now it's looking more like a hedge with all this grass is in the way so the next step will be to mow the lawn and then use the whipper snipper on the edge. Wow this is looking so much nicer much cleaner look. Next step will be to cut the grass so that I have a nice tidy edge along this alyssum hedge that I've just created. Not so messy and overgrown. One more step I'll show you in a second. 
The grass is now being cut and I've edged the garden bed here so it's a nice line along the alyssum that looks really nice and tidy. And all of the flowers have been trimmed. They're tidy and hopefully most of them will start blooming a little bit more for the rest of summer. I love it. I think it looks gorgeous. Wow. Here are a few people over at the green right now. I was about to chip it up onto the green. And it landed right about there. in a pot. You can also see a new property being built there in the background, so there's a little bit of noise from that. Okay, here he goes, about to pot. Nice one. And they're off. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching me prune my flowers that are at the front of my property that kind of are the showcase of my property. It's the first thing you see when you drive up to the driveway, so I really wanted them looking neat and tidy and gorgeous. I hope you learned something in this video and will come back and watch another one. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so that I know that you like what I'm putting out and I'll keep going with it. Have a great day and happy gardening.